Oh my god, it's a ghost in here. Oh, it's another video. I like a Sam. Everybody say hi to Elvira. Hi, Elvira. Hello, pinups. It is me, Pinup Palmer. I am back with another hair tutorial for you. Yes, you guys have already guessed it. It is the poodle. You guys wanted makeup tutorials? I totally gave you guys the poodle. And I know I'm gonna be burned at the stake for that. Burn the witch. Do you smoke? Burn the witch. Burn the witch. We'll find out soon Burn enough. But I do what I want. And what I wanted to do was something a little bit easier. Believe it or not, this is actually one of my quickest hair styles that I do. I quite like it. It's really fun and it stays in place all day. You go on roller coaster, it stays. You get punched in the face, it stays. You may have a black eye, but you look great. Don't let it fool you in thinking this is the Lucille Ball hairstyle. It is not. I can't stand it when somebody goes, oh, it's the Lucy hair. No. It's actually different. Lucy's hair was more of like a bumper bang with kind of a poodle top, but she had like a ponytail fall in the back. Fun fact, she wanted to look a little bit more youthful because she was insecure because Ricky was actually younger than she was. <gasps> Scandalous! But this hairstyle was actually more famous, I think, worn uh, with Betty Grable. Betty Grable really, really one looked fabulous in this hairstyle but really honed in on it because it was like a late 1940s 1950s kind of hairstyle and it looked i think the best on betty grable remember anything that you do i can do too well another example would be like gypsy rose lee you know she was very big into the poodle too it gets it up out of the face it looks fantastic there are also different versions of the poodle some of them have a bumper bang some of them are more sculpted some of them are more curly but i did more of just the classic kind of like a simpler form of the poodle which is just the curls um and this is just kind of manipulating and wrapping around the curls around your finger and i'll show you guys that a little bit later let's get all the tools you will need to achieve this look uh. First, you're going to need a 3 4 inch curling iron, which is smaller than the 1 inch. Next, you're going to need your favorite hairspray. Mine, of course, is Kendra. For this look, you're going to need a couple of duckbill pins, various types of bobby pins in all different sizes, and normally I would say teasing comb, but I seem to have misplaced mine for some freaking reason. Oh, wait! <sighs> and if you want a couple of hair flowers to complete the look. All right, guys, so that is all you're going to need for this hair tutorial. It's a quick video. I'm sorry if I'm not enough so like i said i'm going to skip the curling process i'm actually going to show you how i just curled one of the curls and that's literally what i did for the entire hair there was no rhyme or reason you just curl your hair with the curling iron and just make sure it's barrel rolls not spiral rolls barrel rolls not spiral rolls barrel spiral barrel spiral spiral next time you guys will see me my hair will just be looking like little ringlet curls ready three two alakazam all right well here is the curly hair. I didn't show you guys the curling process, but literally there's no rhyme or reason to it. You don't need to do sections. You don't need to do anything like that. I just hit myself in the nose. Oh my God. But I will show you just how I curled my hair. So I'm going to take this piece right here that I see is looking limp. I'm just going to show you how I curled my hair. I'm going to take my little paddle brush here, brush her out. Mm. Even though it's already curled, I'm going to take my half inch curling iron here and I'm going to put her in between the barrel. Make sure you get all the way to the ends and go all the way up with it. Let it sit for a bit. Let her go, and it should look something like this. This is a barrel roll. This is what you want. And I want you to do this to your whole entire hair. It doesn't matter as long as you curl it with a half inch curling iron and you get about these size curls, okay? No rhyme or reason, I'm just curling. It doesn't matter, just curl your entire hair. Make sure you get everything, okay? All the way in the back too. Great. Once you are done with that, do not brush out the curls, okay? Okay, right after when I said don't brush out the curls, I mean just don't brush out the end of the curls is basically what I'm saying. What you're now going to want to do is kind of put your hair up in a very, very high ponytail. As you can see, I am brushing just the sides of my hair and the back, not touching the ends. And I'm not brushing the ends because I want to intact those curls. I'm gonna take another duckbill pin. I'm gonna stick one of these pins in it over here. Bam. I'm gonna grab another one of these guys. Bam. 
I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Brush the side a little bit. Grab another one of these. I like to use the duckbill pins back here um, because they're just like a stronger hold. Um, and I like to cover them with hair so you won't see them, but don't go through metal detectors. <laughs> So it should look like a little mohawk line like that. And you're wanna gonna do the same thing on this side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start pulling the front of my hair all the way to the back and pinning it in random spots. Make sure you have volume. That's the biggest thing about the poodle. It's the complete volumized look. So you're gonna start pinning these curls in place. Once you start liking the kind of shape of everything, start taking your finger and rolling the curls and manipulating them into little spirals around your head. And you could do this everywhere. There's really no rhyme or reason to this, you guys. It's kind of up to your interpretation, but I'll give you a little close up here of how I curl the curls around my finger and manipulate it to give it more of a swirl look. There we go. And if some of the curls are not turning out the way you want, go ahead and take your curling iron and just recurl them again and then roll them up. Stick them in and place the bobby pins ever so carefully in the spots. You don't want the bobby pins showing completely. You kind of want to give the illusion that the hair is standing up on its own. And all you do is just roll and tuck and pin, roll and tuck and pin, roll and tuck and pin to whatever kind of place you're liking. Some people like to push it more to the side. Some people like doing big curls. I like doing little small ringlet curls personally. Now I'm just pulling my front curls back and up on top and on the sides, pinning it and then taking care of the ends later. And be careful around the curls around your face. This is the most intricate part, I think, because you don't want your forehead to be seen through the curls. You kind of want to manipulate it to seem like it's ever so carelessly falling on your forehead. Especially if you have a large forehead like me, I like to cover it just a little bit so I don't look like freaking Frankenstein. Once you're kind of happy with one side, go ahead and sculpt it with your teasing brush. Make sure there are no flyaways or anything like that. And hit it with that hairspray and lock that thing in place. Lock it in place.
Once you are content with how everything looks, go ahead and hit it with hairspray. Bam! Done! Ugh! I love the poodle because it just it gets everything out of your face. It really does not move, so let's just... Oh, I shouldn't have done that on my screen. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I think I need some flowers for this look. So let's get some flowers. Cool, so I just picked these from my plant behind me. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I got these from Michaels and I just like pluck them off and I get like bobby pins, stick them in my hair. I think we need some earrings too because I'm feeling naked. My earlobes feel naked. I don't know what earrings to wear. And earrings, bam, earrings to go with my iridescent top. But here it is. Oh. All right, here's a montage of me making creepy faces now. Enjoy that. But seriously though, people do this. This concludes this video for the poodle. I'm not exactly sure what to do next. So if you guys could put down in the comments what you would like to see from me other than makeup, I already know, but I get it. I will do a makeup video very, 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 very soon. I'm just getting through the hair stuff. Okay, let me do one thing at a time. Okay? I'm just so busy sleeping, napping, eating. I need some rest. I'm just kidding. I'm just lazy. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and the bell to notify yourself that I will be uploading a video every other week or so. And uh, go ahead and give it a like while you can. Whoa. My light just flickered. <sighs> Anybody else see that? Did you see it like right here? And, uh, go ahead and give it a like while you can. Whoa. They're here. Um, it, like, winked at me. I was like, yeah, subscribe. Are you subscribing to me? Please. I need more subscribers, even if they're ghosts. And I've gotten so many subscribers in the past few weeks. I am just so honored right now, even if it's my mom just making a bunch of fake accounts. Thanks, mom. I appreciate you and your support, truly. <laughs> but until next time, pinups, I'll see you guys later, okay? Mwah.